is in a street fight about health care reform, and he just got some bad news. According to Rasmussen's daily tracking poll, since the president's speech to a joint session of Congress, approval for his health care plan has been steadily going up. Well, that climb, it's apparently over. What are the approval numbers now? They are now back to where they were before his speech. 45% of voters favor the plan. 52% of voters are opposed to it. So what happens now? Republican Senator Lindsey Graham joins us live. Um, numbers are bad. Yeah. Well, he's keep selling. You know, he went out and made a speech. He's going to be on all the networks, uh, the Sunday TV shows. So the president is really pushing this plan, and the American people are not buying. If he wakes up to the fact that he's asking more than the American people are willing to give in terms of their health care choices, and he's pushing too much big government uh, in too many different ways, he can salvage this if he continues to be hard-headed. And quite frankly, he's a talented man, but I didn't like his speech. I thought it was combative. All critics are not demagogues, and what we're doing here is not bickering. We're having some major disputes with the president that I think the, pre the public is on our side. Well, you raise a semi, not even a semi, I guess a sensitive issue. Uh, your congressman, Joe Wilson, yeah. or at least from your state, um, had an outburst. It was boorish. Sure. Um, and it he apologized, and it was wrong. He spent the, he, and today they, had a, they rebuked him. Sure. Um, uh, former President Jimmy Carter yeah. says Congressman Joe Wilson's outburst to President Barack Obama last week was an act based on racism. And when we start now, we're, we're a little bit into the whole question of race. Yeah, that? I was going to ask you because it. Well, the one thing different between uh, President Carter and myself is I know Joe Wilson. I've known him for, for 15, 20 years. He's a very good man. He has four sons. Two of them are in Iraq at the same time. Uh, he goes to every event there is to go to in his congressional district. He has one of the best constituent service organizations. He's a conservative Republican. He's a good man. And to say that about someone you don't know and try to make something out of this that's not there. What he did was wrong. The president's tone was very combative. It got the emotions high. It was a pep rally, not a congressional joint session speech. And Joe overreacted and emotions got the best of him and he quickly apologized. To say that Joe Wilson is a racist is absolutely unfair and fabricated. How do, I mean, this is a, this is a tough issue, this whole racism, because you, we've got sure. to be able to have fair criticism of yeah. all our members, white or African American, yeah, right. fair criticism. Um, and yet, how do we know if it's, a, if it's born in racism or if it's born in, in passion or disagreement? Do you have any sort of, because this is, I mean, I we should we all bear this one out on the table. I don't think you become, uh, uh, if you're a racist, it shows. The way you live your life, the way you interact with your neighbors, the way you practice law, the way you represent your constituents, um, people who are around you most of their lives. Everybody says to a person that knows Joe, they're surprised because he's a pretty mild-mannered guy. Uh, it's just the way you live your life. You can't.